I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are continuing the conversation of the days of Noah. This, as always, is a message to our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the mighty nation of Israel today being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is... The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. This is the voice of our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords, Yehoshai, speaking today through the servants of the one true living most high power, the men who come out here and speak this word in truth and in sincerity. The men who speak, thus saith the Most High, as it is written. Remember, we can hear the voice of our Father through the Son upon the earth today. He has said unto us, come out of her. Who is her? Her is mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America, hidden for a long time from the view of the world, but now can be clearly seen for the blood that has been shed and is continuing to be shed. So we, as the Israelites, need to not partake of any of her ways. So, nations are referred to in the feminine. The nation of Israel is considered a woman. Mystery Babylon considered a woman. We need to not take on their customs, their values, their morals, their doctrines, which means teachings, their philosophies, the fluidity in which they move from teaching to teaching to teaching to teaching, from sin to sin to sin to sin. In this way, we receive none of her plagues. Now, the Spirit was very express not to take the super hots. The Holy Spirit was express that no Israelites should take the super hots. The Spirit that runs through the devil, devil means deceivers, and they are the rulers of this last wicked kingdom. They are death. The spirit that runs through them is death. The spirit that runs through them is death. And so mystery, Babylon the Great, if you are an Israelite, you need to get a divorce a spiritual divorce. You need to do it now. If you have not done it, you need to do it now. The spirit of murder is in her. And when someone wants to hurt you, someone you are in a marriage with, they Go for your children. It's okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. It's okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. If your family is struggling, juggling the bills, 
Really feel the burden of the doctors and your pills? Call us up today and you know we're gonna say that it's okay to pass away. It's okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. It's okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. If you're sick of taking medicine, you're never getting better And you're losing hair and weight and looking like a little skeleton If things don't improve, and if you're approved Take a little shot and then the pain is removed It's okay to pass away today It's okay to pass away Everybody say it's okay to pass away Today it's okay to pass away It's okay to pass away Today it's okay to pass away It's okay to pass away Today it's okay to pass away For our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the Israelites who are still spiritually married unto mystery Babylon the Great, this is who she is. This is who she is. As a nation, this is who she is. And they are not hiding anymore. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 19. Even the words in that song are too heavy for a child to even be contemplating. You know, I talked to a woman who's a school psychologist this week, and she's telling me more and more they're getting students coming in there cutting themselves, trying to leave, trying to leave their vessels. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 19. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. So from the heart, from the mind, where do our words come from? From our hearts, from our minds. Our thoughts come from our hearts. And there are just evil thoughts permeating through the air today. And if you're still married unto this one, this is what is being uh, held for you. This is what is being nurtured for you. Murders, adulteries. You think that Mystery Babylon the Great cares anything about you? The book of St. Mark, chapter 7, verse 21, for from within... Out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. Verse 23, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. This is what is inside of them. As children get sicker and sicker, and they will... Because many got all of the super hots. The lyrics to the song say, yeah, look, if the medical bills are too much for your parents, just it's okay to pass away. What the what? This is who you're dealing with. And if you're married... There is no way for you to walk out of that marriage spiritually alive. There's no way. Because either she, she, mystery, Babylon the Great, either she's going to kill you or you're going to be judged for being with her. Really just that simple. These times really are similar 
to those of our forefather, the prophet Noah. The book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 5, And the Most High Power saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Know who you are dealing with. Know who you are dealing with. So, it was brought out in the spirit in the last chapter. You could wait for Yahweh Shai, be espoused unto Yahweh Shai. As our forefather, uh, St. Paul, uh, worked so dil diligently to have uh, the nation be ready for. You could wait and be married unto Yahweh Shai as an Israelite. Or you can marry the devil. And they run this last wicked kingdom. They run it. And mystery, Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America. If you're not standing for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, remember our Father comes in the name of the Son, then you are married unto mystery, Babylon the Great. So what does that look like? There were, there were questions about that. What does that look like? What does marriage look like? So here are two extreme examples, but they are examples that you can see clearly. You're going to see uh, with the male, you're going to see a before uh, marriage and an after marriage. And then for our sisters of the nation of Israel, you really have to be cautious because they're coming at you really hard. And you're going to see a female who is uh, designed to lead you as a principality, to lead you, to lead you way astray. But you're going to see this uh, female before the marriage and after the marriage unto uh, mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America. Okay, so tell me all about this. Wow. I mean, who, wait, so who made it? Wow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. So, what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. One of the greatest things 
uh, in terms of witchcraft that they enjoy doing, the devil, the rulers of this last wicked kingdom, is they like gradualism, right? So you uh, follow these uh, two individuals and you go with them on their journey and gradually they become these things through marriage unto mystery Babylon the Great. But there's only one problem when you marry mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America, when you take on their ways, their customs, their values, their morals, their ideals, their philosophies, their fashions, their ideologies. There's only one problem when you marry one such as this. The book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. This is Mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America. She has more military bases on every continent than any other uh, nation of people than anyone else and she is a whore because of her philosophies and her doctrines do as thou wilt whatever you want to do just do it there are no rules just do you be you just Whatever you want to do, it's okay with us. And if you're an Israelite, as long as you are turned away from your Father in heaven, do whatever you want. Paganism is idol worship. Worshiping the stars and the flowers and the trees and the animals all things which our father said don't do and this is also confusion and our father is not the author of confusion so mystery Babylon the great she will lay down with any power at any time to get her way. She is not loyal at all. And please do not think for a second that she will be loyal to you, Israel. Not for a second. Not for a second. There is one who we may trust who we may trust and that, that is our father through the son the only one that we as Israelites can truly count on and we must see the error of our ways the book of St. Mark chapter 10 verse 12 and if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another she committeth adultery. This is what we, as the nation of Israel, have done. Nations in the Bible are referred to in the feminine. So we, the wife to the one true living most high power, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator and destroyer, we, as the wife of the one true living most high power, turned our back on our husband as a nation. And in doing that, we committed adultery. But if you want to take it even deeper than that, since all nations 
are considered feminine, we left a male-female relationship for a non-male-female relationship in the spirit. We really have sinned. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 9. Sirach is also called Ecclesiasticus and can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the King James 1611 Bible. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. So, Mystery Babylon the Great is about everyone doing everything whenever they feel like it. Well, this is what whoredom is. A woman doesn't have eyes for her man, her husband. She has eyes for everybody. Eyes always looking around, moving around. Who's next? What's next? What can I conquer next? Who can I do next? Who's looking at me? Who's checking me out? Always looking for everything but what's right in front of you. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. You know, when a woman's with her man and other men are present, for the most part, she's looking at her man. But we decided to look everywhere else but at our husband. We as a nation decided to do that. Now, through our Father's mercy and righteousness, this living word, this living water is available today to cleanse us. To cleanse us. So, many are waking up today. So, if you have been married unto the great whore, right? Didn't even say a whore. This is a, a, the great whore. If you've woken up and found out that you are married unto the great whore, here's what you need to do. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24, verse 1. When a man hath taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he hath found some uncleanness in her. Oh, I'm in bed with the great whore. There probably isn't anyone who she hasn't slept with or done things with. Because he hath found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. That's what needs to be done. In our hearts, this is what needs to be done. Really searching and examining ourselves. And we uh, judge ourselves through the Holy Word. Well, what has been said? Well, Men shouldn't wear that which pertains to women, and women shouldn't wear that that pertains to men. There's one right there. It is not a mistake that all the party music goes on the radios and people get all amped up on a Friday afternoon to go out and party because Friday evening is the Sabbath. It's a holy day unto our Father. It's a day of rest. It's actually a holy day. But the devil's got you in the reverse. That's a place to start. Look for the uncleanness upon your garment. Really look. Look at where you lie. Look at where you steal. Look at where you're a backstabber. Look at where you're a false witness. Look at where you're covetous. Really look. Really look.
What do you need to begin? What is it that you need to do as an Israelite to begin the divorce proceedings? To begin the divorce proceedings. Now that you know, what will you do? Returning to the book of Sirach, now chapter 25, verse 23. A wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh an heavy countenance, and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. This is what a, a wicked woman does unto you. They take your courage away from you. They make you sad. They give you a wounded heart. So what's one way that you have a wounded heart? They tell you in Mystery Babylon the Great that you will never be enough. You will never be pretty enough. You will never be wealthy enough. You will never be healthy enough. You just won't ever be enough. And this is to keep you working, to keep them rich, to keep the uh, rulers of this last wicked kingdom rich. None have peace here. None have peace. Even their own uh, children, the Edomites, the descendants of Esau, Esau, Edom, Idumia, and Mount Seir, the so-called white nation, even they have no peace today. The rulers of this last wicked kingdom, they are oppressing everyone now. Verse 24, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Verse 25, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad about. Don't let this woman, mystery, Babylon the Great, who you've been married to, don't let her have free reign in your life and in your heart. Don't let her just have her way with you. Don't let her just have her way with you. Verse 26, If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. That's clear, isn't it? You must, if you haven't already, begin the process of divorcing spiritually from mystery Babylon the Great. Because her judgments are going to be severe. They just are. If you're married to her, you shall receive the same. But also, what kind of marriage do you really have? Now, again, we're speaking spiritually, right? So this is for the brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel. We, as a nation, are married unto another nation today, many, uh, spiritually. Instead of being married unto our husband, the one true living most high power. Plus, if you're married unto Mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America, you're married unto a whore, but not just a whore, the great whore. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 27, for a whore is a deep ditch. Once you're in there, it's hard to get out of there. It's hard to get out of there. And a strange woman is a narrow pit. We're not supposed to be dealing with this woman. We're supposed to be here finishing out the last of our last captivity, enduring it, but not dealing with this strange woman and her strange customs and values and morals and principles and philosophies and ideologies. The further down that hole you go, 
the further down you are and it becomes more and more impossible to get out you know once there are certain things that once done it's almost impossible to walk back from it really is almost impossible to walk back from because the further you go with this one the further into madness you go but you'll, you'll even forget the one true living most high power exists because she doesn't the great whore doesn't remember that the one true living most high power exists the other part is she mystery Babylon the Great the so called United States of America she doesn't care about you not at all and as we continue to move forward her guidelines are going to get narrower and narrower and if you do not comply with her demands and her commands she will leave you she will leave you and many of you really believe that will never happen to you and many of you believe that you can survive it unless you initiate the divorce it will hit you in your face like a brick my wife informed me that she wants a divorce i left just to keep the peace keep the peace and I'm still here. The locks, I went back the next day and the locks were changed. And... I've been on the streets for about 30 years. And uh, the reason why I've become homeless is uh, me and my wife got a crucial divorce. Bad marriage, uh, I just, a broken heart to hit the streets. Me and my wife get a divorce. Family, one minute they want you to stay. A week go by, it's time to leave again. So it's just very difficult. Well, I went through a bad divorce, lost everything I had, and moved out here to start over. Went to the doctors, and doctors took me out of work because I got rheumatoid arthritis. My ki uh, liver's failing. Lost my house, my kids, my car to a violent relationship. A broken marriage. Relationship? Yeah. Lost it. I have emotional issues I couldn't deal with. Car broke down. Ran to the wrong people at the wrong time, got robbed, lost pretty much everything. A divorce, uh, then I rented a room, and then I came down with epilepsy and started having seizures, and the guy didn't want me there. And the next thing I know, I was in an assisted living house. The book of the prophet Job, chapter 24, verse 10. They cause him to go naked without clothing, and they take away the sheaf from the hungry. Verse 11, which make oil within their walls and tread their wine presses and suffer thirst. Verse 12, men groan from out of the city and the soul of the wounded crieth out. Yet the most high power layeth not folly to them. Verse 13, they are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof, nor abide in the paths thereof. So those who are married... So to those who are um, married unto Mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America, when she divorces you and you don't see it coming, it's because there was no light in you. There was no light in you. You actually rebelled against the light. You said, no, no, she'll never do that to me. She will never do that to me, ever. But you don't know the ways of this whore at all. The father does. The father knows clearly and has warned us.
Verse 14, the murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy, and in the night is as a thief. This is who you're dealing with. This is who you want to spiritually lay in the bed with, close your eyes with, be completely vulnerable around. She, Mystery Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America, is the daughter of her father, which is the devil, which are the rulers of this last wicked kingdom, which are Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir, the so-called white nation, ruled today by the family of Amalek, those who say they are the Jews and are not. Aren't they currently murdering people as we speak? Aren't people being murdered upon this earth today? The book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 4, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the most high power. The most high power is not in all his thoughts. This is who you want to be married to. All right? This is who you want to be married to. Verse 5, his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. You're dealing with the rulers of this last wicked kingdom who care about nothing. If you really understand, they don't care about their own children. So what makes you think they care about you, Israelite? They have po poisoned the water, the air, the food. They have poisoned the minds of the people. At the heart of it, to kill off as many Israelites as they possibly can. But they will kill their own children and children of other nations just to get at what they want. And they think no one can touch them. Verse 6, He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. This is how the rulers of this last wicked kingdom feel. So that gives them some real permission to stretch out and do some things. Things like tell everyone upon the earth to get the super hots. No one's ever going to find out. And if they find out, they, they can't do anything to me. It'll be too late. Verse 7, His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Verse 8, He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. This is who you're dealing with. Mystery, Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of, of America. She is the daughter of the devil, the rulers of this last wicked kingdom. And she serves her father. She serves her father well. Sadly, more and more of our brothers and sisters are going to find out the hard way. Verse 9, he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. His net is mystery, Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America. Her ways draw you in so that they can kill you. They can murder you. Verse 10, he croucheth and humbleth himself. Oh no, do this for you. This is here to protect you. This is here to save your life. This is here for your benefit, for your ease, for your protection. When you hear those words, they are pulling you in the net. They are pulling you in the net. We're here for you. We've got your back. We're here to take care of you. Our only focus is you. Now that's true. Our only focus is you and how we can destroy you. One of the things that you have to really understand about the devil is they never finish their sentences. If you understand that, you can get a leg up. They never finish their sentences. 
you know it's like when you see someone uh, who's your enemy right and they look you in the face oh, I say oh man I'm so happy to see you the end of that sentence is I may get a chance to kill you today that's the end of the sentence so when you hear yeah we do this for your convenience so that you can die quickly Come do this digital currency. It'll be more convenient for us to steal all your money. That's the end of the sentence. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Verse 11. He hath said in his heart, the most high power hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. And this is their huge mistake. Their huge mistake. Don't make the mistake that they're making. Don't be in bed with her when uh, her time has come. Now, how do you know when that time is? How do you know when that time is? Well, it's approaching. The second book of the prophet Ezra, chapter 16, verse 49. Like as a whore envieth a right honest and virtuous woman this is why mystery babylon the great hates the israelites so much because we are the chosen bride of the one true living most high power because the father knows who we become who we as a nation become he knows that and there is that envy and then there is that perpetual hatred Verse 50, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. So the righteous hate iniquity and they are not married unto the great whore. Not only that, they will accuse her mystery babylon the great the so-called united states of america to her face and that is what is being done today by the prophets the brothers the modern day prophets who are out on the street at camp the brothers who are giving classes and the brothers who are online speaking this word in truth and in sincerity we're accusing her right to her face mystery babylon the great the so-called united states of america you're a great whore how do I know that? It's written in the living word. It's written in prophecy. And you are fulfilling upon that. When he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. That's Yahweh Shine. He's searching out every sin upon the earth today. He's searching. That's how you know. This is how you know he's close. The louder this voice becomes upon earth, we can hear the voice of our Father through the Son upon earth today, through the servants, the prophets. The louder that voice becomes, the closer he is. The louder that voice becomes, that's signpost two. But signpost one is she's being accused to her face boldly. Verse 51, here's the instruction. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Listen, whatever you've done, let it go. Confess your sins to Yahweh Shai. Pray for forgiveness and repent. Just don't go back to your sins. That's it. And wait. Wait. For the bridegroom, Yahweh Shai. Wait for salvation. Wait. 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 Because this one has never truly been married to anyone. This one doesn't want lovers anymore. This one doesn't want affairs anymore. This one wants full compliance. This one wants groveling slaves. 
this one wants ones who will willingly give up their lives for the illusion of her love. But if you're an Israelite, our Father in Heaven really does love us. He really does. Returning to the second book of the prophet Ezra, chapter 16, now verse 35. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of Yahweh. Verse 36. Behold the word of Yahweh. Receive it. Believe not the powers of whom Yahweh spake. This is the love of our Father. He's still speaking through the Son upon earth today unto the Israelites. Warning and warning and warning. That's love. That's love. This word is life. It is light and it is life. Receive it. Believe not the powers of whom the Lord spake. Don't believe any of these other uh, doctrines, teachings, philosophies, powers. Don't believe any of them. Don't believe any of them. Yes, they some have power. Yes, they do. But our Father who we serve is the most high power. His son, Yahweh has been given all authority in heaven and in earth. There is no serving anyone under that. Why? Why? So, pay attention, Israel. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the warnings and pay attention to the signs. <laughs> ¿Qué es eso? Díganme que lo vean. ¿Qué mierda? ¿Qué fue ahí? ¿Qué mierda es? Alguien me puede explicar qué es. Eso no es un. Oh, ya, yeah, qué onda. Este momento épico, un momento épico, cabro. Estaba aquí en el volcán Antico y grabando el valle, vaya para abajo, miren. Lo que lo encontramos, un ovni, un objeto que brilla ya, no identificado. Puede que sea el día de la independencia hoy día, weón, va a quedar en la carrera, aquí se van a enfrentar, weón. O será Goku, weón, que está haciendo la Genki Dama, weón. Mira, weón. Voy a darle todo el aumento por los 126, weón. Esto es maravilla. Mira, 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 Cali, como se ve aquí en la pantalla. Ven a ver, culeo, mira cómo se ve aquí en la pantalla. Qué bueno. Es un triángulo, weón, mira.
manual focus mode. Es un triángulo, güey, mira. Sácale una foto, güey. No sé, pues, güey. Estoy grabando, sacando una foto. Estoy grabando, güey. Mira, mira. Está como en alto, sí, la güey, pues. Sí, pues, güey. Un posible objeto no identificado oculto entre las nubes de la ciudad de Antofagasta de Chile. The following video was captured on November 30th, 2023 in Orsorno. Chile and their news outlets are going crazy. Dozens of witnesses have come forward with their own pictures and videos of this massive ship in the sky. They're claiming it to be a UFO. Some witnesses are even stating that the object itself was slowly spinning in the sky. It almost looks like a UFO attempting to, to cloak itself as a cloud. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. Está girando. Oh. Ese es ah, un ovni. Vivo, ¿eh? <ríe> un objeto no identificado, miren. Mientras que hacíamos deporte. Ven que te pueden abducir. Mientras hacemos deporte, eh, estamos apreciando un objeto no identificado. Es un ovni, hijo, es un ovni. Mira de la forma que, que gira, no te das cuenta, mira los ruidos. ¿Qué es eso? Ay, graba tú que mi, mi, mi cámara está empañada. ¿Pero qué es eso? ¿Se apagó? ¿Se apagó? Esta nube que nos tiene en cierta forma intrigado acá en la comunidad de Guape, la cual está orientada al este de nuestra dirección. Take heed to the warnings. Take heed 
to the signs. Take heed to what you can see. Remember, this is an amplification process. Things are amping up. They really are. And real judgment has begun upon this earth. Returning to the second book of the prophet Ezra, chapter 16, now verse 62. Yea, and the spirit of almighty most high power, which made all things and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth, verse 63, surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Can't be hid. Sorry. Can't be hid. You're either married unto this last wicked kingdom or you're waiting for the return of Yahweh Shai and the heavenly host. Verse 64, Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. Verse 65, And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. Verse 66, What will ye do? Or how will ye hide your sins before the Most High Power and His angels? Stars of the firmament rolling around on the earth. Stars of the firmament roaming through the earth. Pay attention. Verse 67, Behold, the Most High Power Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High Power lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And that's a promise. That's a promise. But know for a fact, judgment has begun upon this earth. fire is not being spoken about for no reason. Heat and fire are not being spoken about for no reason. We need help, this woman says. Food, supplies, clothes. I lost everything. This Taylor couple tries to salvage what's left of a workshop while these people search for a missing cat. Areas near Vina del Mar and Valparaiso have been hardest hit, home to around a million people and about 120 kilometers from the capital, Santiago. At least 1,200 homes destroyed and 9,000 hectares burned. The fires broke out during a heat wave in central Chile. Weather has made extinguishing as many as 90 fires more challenging with high winds, low humidity and temperatures topping 40 degrees. A state of emergency was declared Friday night. The deadliest fires occurred in the central Valparaiso region. The blazes are being driven by a summer heat wave and drought influenced by the El Nino weather phenomenon. A seriously close call. As people run for their lives, Firefighters try to evacuate as many residents as possible. In a matter of minutes, the fire was already here. There was smoke, the sky turned black, everything was dark. The wind felt like a hurricane. It was like being in hell. Hundreds of homes were completely destroyed. In some areas where the worst of it was over, people returned to what was left of them. Some sifted for belongings in the rubble, while others tried to find pets that were left behind. As rescuers struggled to reach the worst affected areas, and with the death toll expected to rise, there's little comfort for those waiting for news of loved ones.
familia, a todos sus cercanos. With this message, the presidential house of Chile announced the death of former president Sebastián Piñera. I extend a warm fraternal embrace to his wife, Cecilia Morel, to his children, Magdalena, Cecilia, Sebastian, and Cristobal, and also to all Chilean men and women who today receive this news with sorrow and pain. The former president had previously visited Rome on several occasions. His last meeting with Pope Francis was in 2021. During this audience, the two discussed the socioeconomic development of Chile and its relationship with the Catholic Church. In 2011, Piñera also met with Pope Benedict XVI, who congratulated him on the rescue of a group of miners who had been trapped almost half a mile underground. That fire is reminiscent of Hawaii with those cars melting. Pay attention. The last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 5. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. The daughter of the Chaldeans is mystery. Babylon the Great, the so-called United States of America. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Verse 6, I was wroth with my people, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. The Israelites are the original people upon the earth, upon the earth, upon the earth. The Father has been refining a seed line and a bloodline from the very beginning. That's why he saved our forefather, the prophet Noah. And from our forefather, the prophet Noah, it went to our forefather Shem, and then on down the line, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, who became Israel. And then through the house of King David. What do we need some young whore for? Verse 7, And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. The Father has spoken what the end of Mystery Babylon is going to be. He's spoken what the end of Esau, Edom, Idumia, Mount Sierra is going to look like. They that leadeth into captivity. They that kill with the sword. Verse 8, Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that saith in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, Neither shall I know the loss of children. I'll do whatever I want to do. I will do as I wilt. Like a rebellious girl. I'm not going to listen to anybody. No one can tell me what to do. All right? And so this is who uh, many of the nation of Israel want to follow behind. No one can tell me what to do. That carelessly is, I'll do whatever I want and there's no consequences. That's careless. Verse 9, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Not only are you in bed with the great whore, but you're in, the, in bed with a witch who's working incantations and spells and curses on you every opportunity she gets. Divorce. The great whore. Divorce the great whore. Verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart I am and none else beside me. 
They have said that I am the most high power. I can do whatever I want to do. I can heal. I can kill. I can bind up. I can imprison. I, I, get, to, I get to decide who lives. This is what they believe in their hearts. None can tame me. This is what they believe in their hearts. Verse 11, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And that's a promise. So if you're in bed with her, it will find you as well. Verse 12, Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. So the one true living most high power says unto Mystery Babylon the Great, unto the devil, which are the rulers of this last wicked kingdom, those who are death, he says unto them, yeah, go to your sorceries, go to your witchcraft, go to your wizardry, go to your warlockery, and try and stand against me. I dare you. Maybe you'll win. Maybe you'll win. I dare you. If you have even the smallest amount of light in you as an Israelite, you know that this great whore has no chance whatsoever against the one true living most high power put her away spiritually put her away divorce her leave her clean yourself up and wait for the return of our king of kings our lord of lords our high priest, our savior, our prophet, and our brother, but also the bridegroom to the nation of Israel. Be prepared and please pay attention. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother, Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9-11 Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahawashai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahawashai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.